A quick video on memories and memory groups for the ICOM 705. So we're in VFO mode, we want to add a memory channel. Um, if we want to add a shift or a tone for a repeater, we just go to function. And now menu number two, then you've got duplex here. And if you hold it, you can change the uh, offset frequency as well. But anyway, once you've got that in, you want to add it to memory. The thing to remember with the 705 is that it does um, it will guide you to put it in a group first. So we're in VFO mode here. If you look on the top right, VFO, tap VFO, you get this VFO memory menu. Now, one handy thing is the A and B part. So we're in VFO B at the moment, but just tap it if you want, VFO A, as you can see. Now, the thing about um, the 705s is remembering to, gr to create a group first. <coughs> so, see it says group here. Hit group. These are some groups that I've created. So these aren't memory channels, these are group, chan group channels. So, let's just say you want to select a new group. So scroll down to number three it says blank um, although you can use it when it's blank without a name but to edit it and add a name you would hold down the button click edit a name and then we could call this one say um, just for example we'll call it PMR frequencies PMR frequencies enter so you've got your group PMR so come back out of that clicking back Go back, let's go to like a 70 centimeter PMR type channel. Let's just go 446 for now. I'm sure that's not it. If you do want to um, get fine tune these, you can hold down the two zeros and you get fine tune. Look, see that? And then hold it down again if you want to come out of that. Anyway, so we've got VFOA, we want to get that in a memory, so we tap VFOA. We tap group, we select the PMR frequency, we've got it there, and then we hold down MW, and then you'll say it's, it's put it in as channel zero, that one. So let's create a couple. So let's just go up a bit more to that, just any random one. So we're already in the group now, so we don't have to select that at the moment. We can select, hold it down MW, and it's put it into channel number one in that group. Now let's just say we want to com try a diff completely different type frequency. So what we do, go into group. Now I've created a group here for HF. Select HF. Then I can go to a HF channel. And there's one there. I've already selected the group. So now we hold it down. And it puts it straight into the next available channel. So that's the idea of you know creating groups and creating memory channels the confusion can be is that when you go into memory mode so you go memory right now we're still in the hf group that was created so then if you go group let's go up to a different group that i created called fm repeaters and then we've touched memory already so look we're, we're going through that memory group Try again, group, and I've got another one here that was created for DV repeaters. And then we can scroll through that. So let's go back into VFO. So when we hit memory, we go to the into the last group that we created. And then if we want to look at the groups, we hit group. You get the idea. Hope this helps. M0FXB.